Today we are going to speak with our friend Brad Burkowski, aka the Colorado Woodworker from United States. Brad is a high school woodshop teacher based in Colorado Springs. Since 2013, he's run a successful store on Etsy in his spare time selling beautiful handcrafted chessboards. After the release of Netflix The Queen's Gambit, his sales skyrocketed. His unique design includes various types of luxury hardwoods that he commonly uses on his custom-made chessboards. They are built to be extremely long-lasting. I just ordered one beautiful masterpiece myself. This is Christina from Opening Master, the biggest human quality chess database with 9.7 million official chess games, sharing the chess wisdom, education, and great stories around the world. Opening Master is a proud supporter and partner of Colorado Woodworker. Brad, your journey from having nothing to your name when you moved to Colorado Springs and then becoming a teacher and successful woodworker who just skyrocketed on Chess.com commercial is truly inspiring. Can you share with us a moment or a memory during those early days that touched your heart and motivated you to keep going despite the challenges you faced? Hello, Christina. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, the story I always think about when I first started was actually of a customer that ordered one of my first chess boards from me. Um, I built him a board. Uh, I thought it turned out really great, but at that time I didn't have uh, custom boxes to ship in. And so, um, I just took two pieces of cardboard, placed it over top of the chessboard and wrapped it up really well and shipped it out to him. Uh, well, it arrived and it arrived broken, uh, but the customer was so grateful and happy for it that he just said he'll fix it himself and he gave me a five-star review for it. Um, you know, and it's situations like that at the beginning where I, I could have just stopped and, uh, you know, I think this is not for me, but having great customers like I've had that kind of let me learn from my mistakes and make it right with them um, has just been able to help me keep growing and keep becoming a better chessboard maker. So I'm really grateful for that customer and a lot of customers I have because um, they, they work with me and, you know, they know they know I can make mistakes, but I'm learning from those mistakes and uh, I'm getting better by every board I build. Amazing. Wish I had such customers. Watching your students grow and become successful young adults must be incredibly rewarding. Could you tell us about a particular student's transformation that deeply touched you and reaffirmed the importance of your role as a teacher in shaping their lives? So I'm about to start my uh, 12th year of teaching. Uh, so I've had a lot of students over those 12 years. So it's really hard to think about this one particular student over another. Um, but I'd say one of the coolest things for me as a teacher that's been around for a while. It's just when I get a bump into former students on the street, you know, they tell me about their lives, they tell me about their careers, and uh, a lot of them I talk to are actually in careers that are related to what I taught them. So it's cool to see them become woodworkers, carpenters, electricians, um, and kind of see them carry that, that passion that they had in the class into their careers. So anytime I get to experience that, it's, it's a really cool thing for me. And, uh, you know, I kind of cherish those moments. I love students and their works. The love and passion you have for chess are evident in your beautiful handcrafted chess boards. With each board taking a considerable amount of effort and skill, is there a particular chess board you created that holds a special place in your heart? If so, what's the story behind it? You know, honestly, the chess boards I like making the most and are most meaningful to me are the chess boards that I, I build for people, um, that are in my life. Um, I have 10 nieces and one nephew and I've built uh, a lot of them chess boards. And I like to get creative with those chess boards. And so uh, just to see them pull those out and play on them and, you know, or hear about them taking it to their, their chess club at school is really meaningful to me. Um, Cause I like to the, the think about them having a, a really unique chess board that, you know, nobody else can really get because uh, their uncle's a woodworker. So th those are uh, kind of the most meaningful for, for me to make. Great quality is rare these days. My next question is about the famous TV series. The release of Netflix, The Queen's Gambit, had a significant impact on your business, leading to a surge in sales. How did you and your family handle the sudden increase in demand, and what were the emotions and challenges you experienced during that period? 
Yeah, I honestly had no idea that series was coming out until my sales started going off right before Thanksgiving, um, which is not unusual, but the the amount of sales I was having at that time was really significant. And so I started talking to my brothers and trying to figure out why that was. And they're like, oh, have you not seen The Queen's Gambit yet? And I was like, what's that? And so I started watching the series. And I was like, oh, okay. I can see why people are getting into this. Um, and so I was actually in between houses at that point. Uh, I was just moving into a new house. And my parents were actually planning to come out for a weekend to help me move. Well, I had so many orders at that point that they decided to stay a little bit longer and help me package boards. And my dad was a woodworker, so he was going to help me sand and kind of finish some stuff. And so what was originally supposed to be just them out here for a weekend, they stayed out here for the entire month of December, helping me complete orders. Um, and I'm so thankful that they were out here for that because I never could have been able to keep up by myself. Um, so it, it was a crazy time. Uh, something that's going to live in my head forever uh, because it was just a really cool um, moment in my life. And uh, I'm just really thankful for my family uh, being there to support me, especially my parents coming out and helping me so much. My last question and also question from our social media comments. Your dedication to creating chessboards that can become family heritage, lasting for generations, is incredible. Can you share your personal message you'd like to send to someone who might one day inherit one of your cherished chessboards and the meaning you hope it brings to their life? You know, when I started making and selling chessboards, I, I started as a way to kind of help me make ends meet. I really didn't plan on, you know, this becoming a, a business, mostly just to have some hobby money. Um, but then watching it kind of take off and watching people just really be interested in what I'm doing and, uh, interested in having one of my boards is just, uh, it's really awesome to see. Um, I, I take a lot of pride in the work I do, uh, and the chess boards I build. And so having somebody say they, they want to have it as a family heirloom and, you know, people from all over the world, um, requesting a chess board for me is just, uh, you know, it's really humbling. Um, and I, I love doing it. I really enjoy doing it. I want to keep doing it. And so it's just something I'm going to keep being passionate about. And I just want to thank people for their interest and help me, you know, kind of live my life out here in Colorado. Uh, it's, it's been really awesome. Brad, thank you very much for sharing your story with us. I would like to ask our viewers to share this story as much as possible. Check out our eShop and download Opening Master, the biggest chess database with 9.7 million official human chess games. Are your international chess master, grandmaster, chess enthusiast, coach, or chess event organizer and have interesting story to tell? Write us and we will feature you too. This is Christina from Opening Master. Until the next time. Thank you. Thank you.